Log in viewers, beautiful Benidorm, 10pm, we're on the strip, we're going to walk down to the promenade, we've got some important information that I forgot to tell you about in all the videos I've done. If you're coming here for the first time, this is actually crucial, you'll need to know this. And I've got a special guest as well, wait till you see who we've got on the channel. Hi guys, it's Skyler here from Skyler Loves Movies, Vlogs and Travel. I am going to sh we're gonna go for a little walk with Kev tonight, we're going to have a little natter with you guys. So, how are you all doing? Yeah, yeah so if you want to know a little bit more about Amazon, I'm going to tell you a little piece of you for a little thing. So, Let's, let's walk along. Okay, Skylar, thanks. Now, I've done a wee interview on Skylar's channel. I'll leave a link at the end, you can check it out. Um, Skylar now lives in Benidorm, and um, I actually met her the other night when I was just doing a video, and she, she was showing me her phone. She says, I subscribe to you. So she actually appeared in the live video that we done last night. Um, you, we were on it for a wee while, so you might have seen her before on the channel. Skylar, lovely to meet you again. We're going to ask you a few questions when we get by here, okay? So, Skylar is... We're in Benidorm, one of my favourite places, and Skylar is also from one of my favourite places, Liverpool. Yeah. How long have you been living in Benidorm, Skylar? Um, I've lived in Benidorm this time round for just over a month now, and I'm absolutely loving it. Okay. Absolutely loving it. So you've lived here before, yeah? Yeah, I lived here for 13 years. Wow. Yeah, first time round. 13 years and did you do it did you have a job here were you doing anything in particular or yeah i was doing quite a few different jobs i was like working behind the bars i was singer singer I, oh, yeah. okay they give us a song <laughs> another time really. <laughs> i put you in the spot there didn't i yeah you did put me on the spot and um yeah i used to work on the back street where all the main nightclubs were in benedorm as well okay for many years so yeah as like bartenders and I actually was a go-go dancer on one of the nightclubs there. Skylar, this is this video is <laughs> producing more shocks as we go. You're a singer and obviously you're a dancer as well. Yeah. My goodness. Okay. <laughs> yeah. There you go, viewers. Did you expect that? You didn't expect that, did you? So we're going to take a wee walk down to yeah. the down to the promenade. Um, I was having a wee chat with Skylar earlier on. I'm going to ask her a couple of questions about bars and restaurants here. Okay. There's Tony Romas across yeah. here. We're going to go down to the promenade, Skylar. What's your favourite restaurant in Benidorm? Oh, that's a hard one. Um, I've got a couple. Oh, go for it. All Zodiac for tapas. You've got to get the tapas out the way first. Zodiac? Yeah. China Garden for Chinese. Okay. And a, a new restaurant that's just recently opened called A Taste of India, which is just down that way. Down that way? Okay, yeah. I've not seen that one, that's a good shout. Yeah. Taste the vineyard. We're just going to cross the road here. Um, Lucy's video, I recommend it. But, oh, if, but okay. if you like breakfast, um, I don't usually go for English breakfast, I like the Spanish breakfast. Yep. There's a bar along here called Tiffany's. Tiffany's. They do the best Spanish tostada for breakfast. Okay. Which is basically um, half a loaf of bread, tomato, and olive oil and a bit of salt. Nice one. Best. Okay, that's a good a good tip you're giving us here. Um, have you stayed in a lot of hotels in Benidorm before? Yes, I have. Okay, so here's my next question. Okay. Give me your top hotel, the nicest one you've stayed in. Top three, uh, Diagnostic. Um, ooh. Oh. Let's do one. So yeah, Diagnostic. Uh-huh. Uh, I stayed in the Vacanza. And okay. I also stayed in the Buena Vista. In the Buena Vista, so you like that as well? That's my favourite, yeah, the Buena Vista. That's okay. My nice one, okay. So, we covered obviously the restaurants. If somebody's coming here and they're looking for obviously a bar, maybe with entertainment, where would you go? Oh, with, with entertainment? Yes. Oh, that's a uh, tough one. Uh, Something like Uncle Ped's or something like that. Okay, Pablo Bloom, yeah, Uncle Ped's. Yeah, Pablo Bloom, I do love a bit of Pablo. And um, Pig and Whistle. Pig and Whistle in the Old Town. That's just yeah. down from accommodation tonight, my hotel. If you've not seen the hotel video, I'll leave a link at the end. Check out the hotel I'm staying in tonight, viewers. Um, the hotel I'm staying in tonight is £39. Can you believe it? It's right bang in the centre of the Old Town, up near the Pig and Whistle, near uh, Tapas Alley. Um, it's a hidden gem. Don't tell many people about it because we don't want the price to go up, okay? So just don't share that video with anybody. Uh, I'll leave a link up here. Let's continue. Okay, so here's here's the next question I'm going to ask you, Skylar. We covered bars entertainment. Yeah. Now, I know you like a wee chill-out bar. I like to just sit and relax. What bars do you actually drink in? Uh, what do I drink in, yeah. personally? What bars do you go to? Um, I do like Rockstar. Rockstar, I like, yep. I like to play a bit of pool. Yep. Um, Roxanne. A pig and Whistle. Yep. 
MIA is one of my favourite chill out bars in the old town of all time. MIA? That is, that is a hidden gem, it's on Gin and Tonic Street. Does that stand for Missing in Action? No? Missing in Action, yeah. 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 Okay. Yes it is. And also um, a little bit of a hidden gem that's mainly um, run by predominantly Spanish. Right. Mainly Spanish people go in there, it's Picasso after work. I passed that, um, yeah. it looked nice, I passed it um, the other day. Yeah. So really good recommendations here from Skylar. Now before I forget viewers, wait till I tell you this. <laughs> Skylar's just reminding me as well, because I've got such a bad memory. Viewers, if you're coming here and you're going to any of the bars, very, very important information. I would say 90% of the bars I've been in do not accept cards. Cash is king here, cash only. Now, this is quite common in other places as well, put Skyline as well. Yeah. This is quite common in other places, um, also at Tenerife as well. So always recommend, have a bit of cash with you. Yeah. And even if you, um, if you do just accidentally don't bring any euros with you, please do, if you are bringing English money over with you, or whatever currency, mm -hmm. go to either Sheena, Sheila's or Tony's. Sheila's or Tony's. Tony's exchange money exchange in the indoor market. Indoor market, that's a good tip. Yeah. If I time, if I time tomorrow before the flight, I'd go up there and, and do a wee video. But I've got no time, I don't think. Um, so, yeah. indoor market, the best. I've been in there before. They basically do. They both do the same exchange rate, don't they? It's good, but yeah. So we're on the promenade now, viewers. It's nice and chilled out tonight. The promenade. Yeah. This is just after ten o'clock at night. This end of the prom, it's quite strange I think. Yeah. This, see this end of the promenade in the evening? It's more quiet. It's quieter than up there, and then during yeah. the day, it's busier this end. Yeah, yeah so, I agree. So, we'll move over to the uh, actual promenade here, so yeah. you, show you a wee bit of the beach at night, because it's lovely to see it with all the lights, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, so that's important information, viewers. The reason I'm telling this is because, let's say you've been recommended a bar or a restaurant like Skylar done, and it's a good 20 minute walk from your hotel. You could walk all the way there, Go up to the bar, have no cash because you're used to card in the UK. We're all used to just using card everywhere in the UK now. Yeah, right. Nobody really carries much well, cash with them. Picasso and MIA do accept cards. I right, they do. Them. That's yeah. good. Um, so quite a lot of the bars don't. So there'd be nothing worse than going there, and then you have to go about and try and find cash machine, machines and everything else, Skylar. So that's that's a a good wee tip there for you as well. Now, Skylar, I'm going to ask you a couple of quick questions about your channel. Yeah. First of all. Uh, tell the viewers what's your channel about. Um, my channel is um, about like I like to do like travel vlogs, talking about Benidorm as yep. well, and also I love um, movies. Movies is my other passion in life, and I love horror movies in general. That's, okay. That is my passion. It's horror movies. Horror movies, yeah. okay. Yeah. So here's the next question I'm going to ask you. <laughs> what is your favourite movie? Oh my god, this is the easiest question on the planet, Midnight Express. Midnight Express? Because it was set in Malta. Oh, is, is, was it set in Malta or was it yes, filmed it was. in Malta? It was uh, set and filmed in Malta because um, the Turkish authorities wouldn't allow the oh. movie to be set. Okay, filmed. that's the one about the guy who gets imprisoned and he's yeah. in there for years and he goes mental. Is that the same one? Similar, yeah, because uh, it, at first it, he got charged for... Um, Drug trafficking just, or something, was it? No, it was like him, he had, he had parts but they thought it was ah, like um, right. for personal okay. use but ended up being for possession right. and then that's why. Okay. Oh, now you've mentioned Malta, we've got something in common. Yeah. Skyler, how long did you live in Malta for? Six months. Six months, the same as me nearly. <laughs> okay, uh, do you like Malta? I love Malta. Okay, what's your favourite bit in Malta? Bajiba. Bajiba, near, near St Paul's? Yeah, St Paul's Bay. Yeah, okay, I know it well. I used to stay in Malia Bay. Um, maybe one day I'll get to Malta and do some videos. You'll yeah. probably watch those yeah. ones. Speaking of Malta, quickly, I, if you do get to Malta, highly recommend you to go on a boat trip club and use the Hornblower because it's my mate's company. All right, okay. Yeah, Hornblower. Hornblower. Okay, nice one. There's a wee tip for you. Yeah. Okay, viewers, so I've got to leave a wee link to uh, Skyler's channel at the end. Do me a wee favour, it doesn't cost a penny, absolutely nothing. Hit the B subscribe button, I'm sure you'll enjoy the content. Support our fellow viewer who's got a YouTube channel. It's been great meeting so many viewers um, in Benidorm. It's been amazing. I've never met so many people in Benidorm in my life. It's just behind Tenerife where I'm doing films and videos. Um, absolutely amazing. And Skyler was just sitting in the pavement one day and I happened to stop right next to her. And she just looked up and I was just right there. It's just, it's really weird sometimes not happening, isn't it? Yeah. You just sometimes meet somebody. Yeah. So Skyler, thanks for having me on the channel. No, and thank you. 
I will... Thank you for having me on yours as well. Uh, no, no problem. I'll leave a wee link at the end, viewers. Don't forget, give it a wee subscribe. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed the video on Benidorm. Bring cash with you. Some great yeah. tips from Skylar on the bars and restaurants. Yeah. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. Ciao, ciao.